Do this on the first of every month and see what happens to you. Do this on the first of every month and you will come back and testify before another month. You are going to do this to bring in lots of blessing. Bring in lots of blessing. Open doors and miracle into your life and that of your family in every new month. So whenever you are watching this, whether November, December, next year, October, first, do this. And if you are seeing this video before a new month, just do this and make sure on the first of every month, you try and perform this. This is powerful. A powerful prayer to usher in blessing, favor, money, prosperity, and open doors in a new month. Thank you for stopping by. You are most welcome. My name is Henrietta, and in here, I share with you powerful prayer tips that would help you greatly and help you attract your blessing. I guide you, direct you on what to do, how to do what to do, to get speedy answer from God. Because there are ways of prayers that command quick answer. So all you need to do now is to join us. Subscribe and make sure the bell notification is turned on. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. And if you are already subscribed to this channel, you are my regular viewer. May God bless you. May God open your doors. I always pray for all my regular viewers. Everything that is your problem will become your greatest testimony. From now on, in the name of Jesus, amen. So for this, on the first of every month, the first thing you are to do is to thank God. Immediately it is 12 a.m. But we are going to do this in the live stream, 12 a.m. Nigeria time. I go on live once every day, 12 a.m. Nigeria time. So if you missed that live stream, try to join. You're going to take out time to worship God, to praise God. There are many people that died in September, that died in the previous month. That you did not get all you wanted does not mean that God did not do anything for you. Always learn to be grateful. When you are sick, you will know the value of being healthy. If you can be dead for two days and come back to life, you will know the value of being alive. So always have a reason to thank God. So when you are done thanking God, you ask for forgiveness. And beside that, you need to write a resolution. In every new year, in every new month, you write down your resolution. Oh Lord, in this new month, I want to stop this. I want to start this. Remember, resolution also aid in getting speedy answers to your prayers. Remember, sin can hinder your prayers. Sin is one major obstacle that brings or opens doors for the enemy to come in and torment you. So in this new month, oh Lord, I want to stop lying. I want to stop stealing. I want to stop fornication. I want to stop this. I want to start praising you more. I want to give my life to you. I want to be rededicated to God. In this new month, I want to attract blessing. I want to be close to you, oh Lord. I want to start going to church. I want to talk less. I want to stop gossiping. You can write down, down too. Write it down. Or you use your mouth to speak it out. And pray to God to help you. I will try to control my temper. I will try respecting people more. I will try being more generous. I will try helping people more. All of these can open the door of your miracle. So take note of this. If you are writing it down, write it down and pray to God to give you the strength. And put it in Psalm 51. If you write it down, but if you don't, no problem. Just speak it with your mouth. Use your mouth to speak it and tell God what you want to stop and what you want to start doing. 
I pray to God to help you. It is fine. Then you get a bottle of water. Any kind of bottle and any kind of water. Just get it and get salt. You can get any type of salt. The power is not on the salt. God has the power. God is doing everything in your life. But we are just praying on this salt and water, just like we pray on food. In the Roman Catholic Church, our Catholic priest always bless salt and water. And this is a powerful tool of prayer. So this is sea salt. You can add normal kitchen salt. So use what you have, any type of salt. After doing that, you get a sheet of paper like this and write your name. Your real name and your soul name. Not your stage name. Not your musical name. Not your business name. Not your guy's name. Maybe they call you Perpetua. You can't use pets or petty. Or they call you Henrietta. You can't use Henriette. Use your name. Okay? Write your name and your soul name. Write that of your family members that you actually want to pray for. Any name you want to write. Any name. As far as you want to pray for that person, write down their names. And when you write it down, you fold it. I've not done mine. I'm just giving you an example. This video was made on the 30th of September. It was made yesterday. So I'm going to do mine tomorrow, which is today that you will be getting it. So when you are done with that, you put it in this water. Like this. Do not dip everything inside. Just get your Bible and open to Psalm 23. We are going to read Psalm 23 several times in that water. Several times in that water with your name written in it. And after each time, you will tell God what you want for yourself and the people you have written down, what you want for them. The next time again you read again, you repeat the same thing. So now you hold it like this and hold your Bible. I'm using the Good News Version. Let's go. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Read this like you mean it. Don't just read it through your mouth, but from your heart. He lets me rest in fields of green grass and leads me to quiet pools of fresh water. He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right path, as he has promised. Even if I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid, Lord, for you are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff protect me. You prepare a banquet for me where all my enemies can see me. You welcome me as an honored guest and fill my cup to the brim. I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life and your house will be my home as long as I live. We have read it once. Now tell God what you want. Speak your intention. What you want for yourself in this new month. As you are praying, begin to state this. In this month of October, or any month you are watching this, I, Henrietta, I will get this. Begin to tell God what you want. In this new month of October, I, Henrietta, I will be exposed to lots of money. Money will come to me. I will get a good job. My business will grow. More favor will come to me. You get to speak into it. And not just for yourself alone. All the people you wrote their names here. If you are writing for your family members, tell God what you are praying for, for them, or what you know that they need. Say whatever you want to see in this month of October. In this month of October, I am Rieta. I want to see success. I want my doors to be opened. If you are still single, oh Lord, in this month, I will be connected to my life partner. In this month, I will get my passport. I will get my visa. I will be healed from every sickness. I will leave this difficult situation. In the name of Jesus, my mother will be healed. Speak whatever you want to speak. In the name of Jesus, amen. Then you go again the second time. Read the psalm again the second time. Then you repeat 
whatever you want again. He has said, it's your shepherd. There is nothing you can lack. Repeat whatever you need, you are praying for. So if I were you, I would try to repeat what I have said before. Tell God what you want. Tell God what you want him to do for the people you are praying for. When you are done, you go back again and read Psalm 23 again to the ending. And again, before you go to the fourth one, you speak your intention. Do this several times. And for that seven times, speak your intention. So when you are done, you dip this inside and begin to shake it and speak these words. No blessing shall ever pass me by in this month. No blessing will ever pass me by in this month. No blessing will ever pass me by in this month. No blessing will ever pass us by in this month. In the name of Jesus, no blessing will ever pass us by. In this new month, no blessing will pass us by. No favor will pass us by. We will not miss our blessing. We will not miss our miracle. We will not miss our blessing. We will not miss our miracle. In the name of Jesus, in this new month, no blessing will pass us by. In this new month, no good thing will pass us by. In the name of Jesus, amen. So that is all for the prayer. Then you keep this. Okay? Then you can throw it away on the second. But leave the paper in there throughout that day and keep this. Then you can discard it on the second day. And that is it. You need to thank God and just have it. Everything you have spoken. If you do this well, you will see miracle. Many testimonies are coming out of this prayer. God will do something great and beautiful in your life. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure the bell notification is turned on. Give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Happy new month. This month shall be the best month for you. In the name of Jesus, amen.